Hey there, it's Tineke here. So what do you do when you want to find leads? And on which channels? My name is Tineke Rensen. I'm from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow their business. Um, so the first question is, how can I find leads when I'm in retail? Well, there's two kinds of leads in retail. There's the business to business lead where you want to sell your stuff in bulk, in large, to other companies who then sell your stuff to the end consumer. You can find those people on LinkedIn. Uh, you need to do a LinkedIn search and you can connect with them and then you can have a conversation and uh, create a price. If you're in retail as in brick and mortar so that you want people to walk past your shop, the best thing is as soon as people enter your shop, make sure that they somehow get connected with you through your new newsletter that they sign up to your social media channels and you can then make offers because it's a lot easier and you can engage with those people because it's a lot easier to sell again to someone who've alre who, who already bought from you compared to finding new clients. Local advertising, um, specifically local Facebook is very uh, easy Google my business it's also very good for local advertising so when people look online for something in their region in your village in your city make sure that you have the keywords of the item they're looking for and the location your place or nearby and then they can search for it and drive over and come to your shop Facebook advertising you can also do very very local so when you want people to visit your shop they are might might be looking for it online and then you can um, they, they will click on your ad they won't be able to buy it immediately because they need to go to the shop another thing you can do is retargeting I'm sure you you have a website so when you have a website and people visit your website, you can do a retargeting campaign so that you, you need to be able to um, make sure that people uh, click on install cookies. So when, you have, uh, the, when your clients have accessed your website and clicked on the cookies, then you're, you know you have their details and you can, uh, on YouTube or on Instagram or on Facebook, you can retarget. So people will see your ad on the right hand side uh, in YouTube or on Facebook and they, they will be reminded to the fact that they have clicked on something in your website, on your website. all right? So those are possibilities um, to, to get people to your uh, shop. When you have collected all the emails, make sure you organize open evenings or that you give discounts, that you have an offer of the month. Uh, something else you can do is a tell a friend campaign. So when you have people in the shop, you give them a leaflet and you say, hey, listen, if you give your friend this code, um, they will get a discount. Usually people don't want to be rewarded when they refer someone. I know you can do referral campaigns eh, where you pay people if they send you an, a referral. Most people don't care about that. If they love you, if they love your shop, if they love your uh, products, they will refer. But you need to make sure that the people in your shop do it. So give coupon codes hand them over and say hey listen if you tell a friend uh, they will get this um, discount and I will give them this item for you for free um, and then you can collect it from your friends so those are all ways on finding leads connecting with leads finding new leads or selling again to already existing leads when it is in retail okay the other question is getting leads from Instagram because that's where this person has most of her sales from. 
Um, to be honest, I am not an Instagram expert, so I can't help you. I focus, as I've been uh, telling before, explaining before, I'm focusing on LinkedIn and Facebook. I always advise uh, people to choose a platform where, where you, what you love. And, and for me, Facebook and, and LinkedIn was already there. I've been in business for so long. I mean, it didn't even exist when I started. Um, and Instagram is still younger. And when I wanted to start targeting my uh, audience on Instagram, they were not there. Um, it started with the young people. Now my audience is there, but I can also find my audience on uh, LinkedIn and on Facebook. And for me, there's no need to start using another uh, social media um, platform. I might do that in the, in the future. But if you are getting uh, sales from Instagram, you already know how to get leads. Um, and, and the strategy you can use on any platform is follow people who are your audience, start an inbox conversation with them, and then somehow make sure that they get to your website or to your shop or schedule a call. That's, and, and if you have consumers, scheduling a call is, is not very appropriate unless it's very expensive uh, stuff such as art or uh, furniture. Um, but when it's um, when you're selling cheaper products, um, having a call is, is just too much waste of time. And the other question is, how can you tell if a lead is good and is worth following up? Well, what I do is I schedule 15 minute calls with people. 15 minutes, I love talking to people. I love helping people. So for me, it's, it's not a burden to have a 15 minute call and have that call with someone who's, who's, who's not the right match for me. How I can tell, uh, my criteria are, there needs to be an energy exchange. I need, I need to love talking to the person. So, so that's for a start. If that's not the case, if they are hesitant, if they are defending themselves, um, that, that those, not, those are not my kind of people. The next thing is, in, in, in my case, um, are you into the law of attraction? Besides the fact that you are a down-to-earth woman and run a business. That's a criteria for me. Another criteria is, are you still operating on your own or with one VA? Do you really want to grow big? If that's the case, you, you need to start doing something else. So I always screen my people and then I know that they're a good match for me. I still don't know if they're willing to pay for my prices, but I know if I start in my conversations, I start to ask, hey, what is it? Where do you want to go? What is it that you want to make every month? What are you making now? I mean, if I speak to women and they make 20K a month and they're barely surviving, I know they're not a right match for me because they won't be able to pay my prices. So how do you know? You need to know your clients inside out. You need to have a client avatar. You need to know exactly who you want your client to be. If you're not having conversations, you can scan their social media profile and find the information that you're looking for. And at least you know that they might be a right fit for you. You're still not sure, but then start an inbox conversation. If you pay for ads, you always know if they are the right people because they choose to click on the ad and they choose to click on the opt-in or on the sales uh, button. So that's, you know, it's easier then. Um, but it all starts with knowing exactly who your ideal client is. So those are the questions uh, for today. And let's see where I am next week. Next week, I will still be on holiday in Italy. Um, somewhere dry, uh, in the Dolomites, I suppose. Um, oh, and my shoulder is, is getting a lot better. You can see I'm not, not having uh, my brace anymore. I can, uh, I can like, you, yeah, move it again. So I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Okay, bye-bye um, for now. And uh, I hope to see you again next week.